Hello once again, dudes and dudettes. I hope you guys are all having a great day. We are back here on the All the Mod 7 uh, member server. And guys, we, uh, yeah, we got some fun stuff planned for today. Now, as you see, I am in full iron armor. I've done a little bit of mining off camera, and I really do mean a little bit of mining. I have a whopping two diamonds. Yeah, big spender. Um, but yeah, we, we've, we've got a lot of stuff to do. Uh, for one, we do have to smelt up all of this grout here um, so that we can make some more Tinker's stuff. And uh, while that's waiting, I want to go ahead and talk to you guys about something real quick. So a lot of YouTubers nowadays um, share their analytics of how much watch time they're getting from their subscribers versus people not subscribed. Um, and they're normally like, hey guys, like 60% of you are not subscribed, or 40% of you are not subscribed. Well, um, my numbers are a little different. Uh, yeah, so 91.9% .9 of you uh, are not sub subscribed. So if, if you could just hit that subscribe button for me, that would be so greatly appreciated. I don't know if you guys just forgot or whatnot, but... Yeah, it's uh the it's kind of astronomical. So yeah, if you could just you know go ahead and hit that subscribe button, that would help me out so much. But anyway, uh yeah, the thing I really want to get into here um is the the seared bricks because we do uh, Tinker's is a little bit different, so we do need to go ahead and make the seared melter um to go ahead and start making other things. So we do need to go ahead and get some glass. I know I have some smelted up somewhere. Yes, chest organization is always on point here. Never doubt it for a second. Cool. So we have our seared melter. Um, and, oh, that's right. I left you guys on a cliffhanger last episode about what's in the puny smelting. Oh, wait, don't look. Um, yeah, so puny smelting. The next page, introduction, melter, moving fluids, casting, tier 2 metals, upgrades, and then slotless modifier. So the melter is what we need here. Uh, most basic melter, early smeltery here can be replaced with your tanks, which increase temperature. Uh, internal capacity is nine ingots, most three items at once. What is the bottom one, though? Um, ah, seared heater. This is the next one we make. This is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Yes. Okay, so seared, seared heater, and then. Okay, so we just make the, the faucets. Um, oh, that gives us three now. That's awesome. Okay, casting table, and then we'll make a casting basin as well. Perfect. So those are the same. And then I also do have one more surprise for you guys. Uh, if we go over here, there's now a door, and we have a little outdoor area, which our Tinker stuff is going to be located at. So, uh, oh, I need that. We can put our seared heater here. We can take our sear the melter and we can put our casting base our table there and our casting base in here and then boom shebang we have our melter a seared melter yes so we can do oh we put those here in the heater what is that not a thing anymore what hang on what do you want get out of here what are you called, actually? A wild and stalker. These things fly around at me in caves and, like, wreck my face. Um. Okay, well... Hmm. Okay. Well, it's not using coal. Which is a little weird. What if we swap it to wood? Oh, it, it, it just needs to have something to use. Like, oh, it's like a furnace. You can't start smelting things. Unless you got something. Oh, I feel silly. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Well, we need some gold, I believe. Um, let's take a quick look at the book here um, for the materials. Copper can. Okay, so what we need to do is take some sand here. We're going to be upgrading our pickaxe here to iron, which is going to be fantastic. Um, so sand, and then we need, we need to get some more cobble. So we can put it into one of these guys over hither. Yes. So what we do is we take the stone head pattern take the sand we go like this 
Wait. <laughs> How do you make the thing again? Okay, blank. Oh, so it's just like this? Oh, okay. Well, that makes it easy. So go like this. Then we poke a hole into it. Right, and so there we go, and then we take the iron that's in here and we cast it out. It's gonna use up the sand here, which is okay. It's a little little pricey, but bam. Now we have an iron pick head. Actually, we go here. We throw this here and this here, and now we go from 130 to 287 durability. Perfect, so that's been upgraded. Um, yeah. Very cool. So there we go. We have a better pickaxe here that can be restored with just an iron ingot. That is amazing. Okay, so iron tools are a go. Um, do I have any string yet? I don't believe I do. Hmm. I want to see about making a better binding as well. I need to do some research. See what the be what best early game... Okay, we're gonna switch our focus to the better smeltery altogether. Uh, so what we need to go ahead and do is smelt up some copper. Uh, we got lots of raw copper here, so no problemo. Go ahead and just toss in a couple of those. So yeah, I can hold up to 12 ingots, very good. And so to, with that copper, we're gonna make a smeltery controller. We take some seared bricks, super easy to make, and then we just pour some copper onto them. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. Let's make. Oh, man. Oh, man. There we go. We have our seared bricks. And we'll put that over here. And then once. Not enough free space available. Um, this is how we do it. Okay. Yep. So we got the four ingots we need. So these will go here into the crafting basin. This guy is going through some transformation. And boom, we're done. We have the smeltery controller. Perfect. Oh my goodness, so cool. Okay, so now with the smeltery controller, we can set up a better smelter, um, which will allow us to make some great tools, like the much more advanced ones, because I really want a hammer to mine things with. And I will show you how great the hammer is. So with the seared bricks, I want to make a seared tank. Uh, is this it? That's seared glass. Seared fuel tank. Perfect. So I want to make two of these. Uh, yes. Like so. And where do we want... I think I'm going to put it here. And then we're going to extend this out over maybe a little bit. And have the roof kind of jet out over here as well. So the smeltery controller will go here, and then we'll have a seared tank here and here. So let's go ahead, we'll do the ring. Now we don't need to do the corner one, but because we are going to see all of the sides, I want to go ahead and do that. That's weird. Maybe it's telling me it needs block there. Perfect. So the mighty smeltery. So we have created the structure here uh, and then now we'll just go ahead and fill this up uh, i'm actually not going to fill up the front there because i want to put seared glass there um so yeah you'll be able to see what's going on there we'll keep bringing this up it'll look really good from the side and then over here we are going to keep this beam um but we are going to have this kind of kick out this way a little bit and let's see there and then over here as well so we'll put a fence gate there can you walk through that you can't cool so we're still safe but that's where our crafting basin is going to go we'll get some drains as well um oh you need a lot more okay oh missed it oh that's right then click in there right perfect so those are being created now I believe a drain is just like this no it's changed um, do we get into this? No, I don't believe this book gets into those details. Mighty smelting. Yeah, so we need some seared stone, which is just one brick poured onto a book. Um, do we have any more sugar cane? The answer is yes. 
We got more leather from the last episode when we created it, so that's great. Bam, blam, we got the book. Let's go ahead and put some seared bricks on it. So we just need to smelt up four of these. We can't actually turn um, like normal stone into seared brick by just putting it in here. So we might do that later on. We might like set up an automated way to do this. Three bricks and then one more gets us a full block. And then we'll put the book here. Yep, and then we pour that onto the book. And then let's work on making this look good. I think we'll just go off of the actual smelter itself, um, which shouldn't look too terrible. So yeah, we'll just go something like this. Come on, oh, this one wasn't there. It was here. Okay. And then we just connect it there and connect that there. There we go. So this will, you know, keep it covered uh, from the front. You will be able to see it. We'll, we'll see how it looks from the outside. It might not look too good. We'll have to see about maybe making that look a little bit better. I don't think it will look too bad. It gives us a really good feel. I need to find the fence. Aha, there we go. And then the cobblestone wall. We should be good now. Put that there, put this there. Everything kind of changed when we did that. Sweet. Yeah, looking, looking good. We'll put that there just to be safe. And then now we have the Mighty Smelting Book. Smelting 201. Perfect. Don't worry, I won't do that to you. All right, so we are going to need to get a Tinker's Anvil for crafting. Um, I believe we can actually craft that. Yeah, I should have enough iron. Yes, we do. Perfect. Okay, so here. Huh. What? It didn't work. I thought that's how you did it. Nope, this is the wrong book. We need the good book. Let's look at the Tinker's Anvil. Steel block. Invar. Uh, invar. Do we have any? We could use copper. We can use brass. Refined glowstone. Constantine. Constantan. Block of brass. Okay, so I do think... Yeah, I think we're going to need to make some bronze or brass. So if you hold shift, yeah, you can cycle through these. Um, so iron is no longer one of those. Wow. All right, brass. What is the easiest way for us to make brass? Brass dust, copper dust, and what was that? Zinc. Have I collected any zinc yet? Oh, I have raw zinc. Cool. Okay, so... Yeah. So we need to make some kind of hammer. I believe that we can make that. Do I have any string? I should have. Yes, we have two. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so with the string, we're going to get some uh, sticks as well. We can put these like this, these like this, and then, yep, here we go. So now if we do this. Okay. There we go. Let's take the zinc. Let's smash it up. Okay, so we need a lot more zinc. Um, now if I do this, I can't, we, we double click it, it will highlight any zinc that we have in here. Okay, so we do have a little bit more. Oh, we've got more. Oh, even more. Even more. So we do have a bit of zinc, which is great. Um, so we'll be able to do this, I believe. Yes, because I have so much copper. I found a huge copper vein in one of the places I was mining. Um, so yeah, we'll break, we'll break that. And then we'll do this. Yes, so now we have more than enough. 
to smelt those up. We do need another furnace. I'm going to make a couple of these then. Okay. So bam, 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 bam. Perfect. So brass and brass. I just need some fuel. Thought I had a lot of coal somewhere. Okay, we got some coal here. So we're not being able to click that in. Okay, so I will let these go ahead and smelt up. And once those are smelted, we'll be back. And we'll make our tinkers anvil. Okay, so we should have enough brass now to go ahead. Yep, we can make over three blocks. Uh, I let a little too much of that get smelted up, but no worries. So if we take this, yes, now we have our tinkers anvil. Perfect. Yes, that is a big deal. Um, we're going to go ahead and put that here. I might actually just go ahead and leave this and just make some more of the crafting guys. Um, because, yeah, this is cool. Um, yeah, so the great thing is, is that now that we have this guy, uh, we can go ahead and make the hammer, which does mine in a 3x3 three three section, which is super duper cool. And, yes, we are protected here. Um, the only thing is that we're, like, we're not really protected from our skeletons. Where are you pathfinding? Like, what is your problem? Why are you pathfinding over there? Okay, you're dead. Cool. So, yeah, uh, I do have some more. Oh, wait a second. I didn't want to make those. <laughs> I almost turned those into seared bricks, but we need to turn those into the seared glass. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do this. Now we're just going to start off with nine of these. These will go ahead and allow us to continue to see in here. Um, and then the top one, that's deep slate. Yeah, we'll end the viewing angle here because you're not really able to see outside of it. Oh, it's telling me where to place that. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, so that did go, that did, as in matter of fact, uh, seal up properly. Yes, so as you can see, we have a lot of space here. So we can take those. Um, not enough heat to melt this item. Okay, so I need to go get, oh, can we make a portable tank? Um, hmm. Do we have a tank? Fluid tank, dimensional tank, dark tank. Oh, wait a second. I did get some dark gems when I was mining. Let's see if we can use these. Um, so dark tank. Okay. Let's see if we can bring this down and fill it with lava. I did find a big old cave. We do slash back. It should take us to it. Yes, here it is. This is where I've been getting all my resources. Um, it's quite a bit of ways from the base. Where's the waypoint? I don't know. I don't know where the waypoint is. That's fine. But over here, I've wanted to find a way to safely descend into the depths. And I think this water source right here is our ticket. Let's go ahead and light it up. We got some gold. I'm going to collect that. We need gold desperately. I almost died. Okay, plenty of lava, but do we have a way down? I should have brought some water in a bucket. That would have been helpful. Jeez, turtle. Okay, why do you just go there? Stop it. Go down this thing. Success. This is exactly what we wanted. Now I can fill up with lava. We're down here kind of at diamond level. Very close to it. This cave is massive. Like We can't see the full entirety of the cave, but it still goes over there for a while. Um, yeah, this is so cool. 
Okay, so let's see here. We place this guy down. If I go like this. Yes. This is how we transport lots of lava. So this is called the dark tank from Evil Craft. I have never used Evil Craft before. Maybe we try it out. Maybe it's evil. I'm Super Turtle. I'm supposed to be a, uh, a good guy, right? Believe that's full. Yeah, we can just put that back. Mine it. Perfect. All right. Slash home. Yes. Uh, that that command is active if you're on a server. Just in case you guys are wondering. So if we put these here. Okay. Yes. We are in fact smelting. Okay. So I'm gonna take these. I'm gonna go ahead and fill it all the way up. Cool, so now that's full. Um, we don't have to worry about that filling up for too much. But yeah, we, now we have the seven ingots in there. We are gonna need quite a bit of iron in there, but the good thing is, is that now um, we have the ability to double our ore. So if we put like the iron, like say this uh, raw copper, the raw iron, if we do that, it will actually double the ores for us, unless they've changed that, I don't really know. Um, so if you guys think, or if you guys know that they've changed it, let me know down in the comments and ruin my day. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, but yeah, let me know down in the comments if they've changed that. Cause that used to be a thing, um, with tinkers, but I don't know if that is still the case. So yeah, over here, we're going to put, um, our crafting basin and then our, or yeah, not a crafting basin, but our seared basin. And then we need to get a drain. Um, so let's see, how do we do that? A seared drain. Oh, which is copper. Perfect. Should have a little bit. I don't think I've smelted any copper. That is a little embarrassing. Not there, you goobs. Perfect. Okay. Perfect, so we have the right amount of copper ingots. So if we go like this, yep, there we go. We have our drains, which is what we need for our smeltery. So we can go ahead and break these. And then we can take these, and now we have iron at our fingertips. Perfect. So let's go ahead and make the materials that we need. So we need a hammer head. Uh, we're going to be using the same method as before. We put that in, take the stone, we poke the stone, and then we put the iron in it. There we go. And it is done. Perfect. So we have the iron hammer head. Uh, how much do we have in here? Ooh, we have plenty. So let's go ahead and make some large stone plates. We're gonna need two of these guys. We're just gonna pretty much make a full iron um, hammer because I don't really know what the best other materials are. I think we're just gonna stick with that for now. And then we need a tough tool rod, is that right? Yeah, tough stone handle. Oops, not like this. Perfect. So we can just click those here. And then if we look, yep, all those materials are being saved up. And then we come over here and we put all of the items into their spot. And now we have a iron sledgehammer. Now let me show you its features. All right, so we're down here in the mine. This is where I've been trying to find diamonds. Haven't been very successful, but check it out. So instead of just mining, you know, the one, 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 we hit this and boom, a three by three area gets mined out. So this is gonna be sweet. We can go ahead and put some redstone onto this hammer so it gets a little bit faster. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and actually try that out. I've got some redstone up here uh, and I feel like that's really tall now. Like it didn't used to be that like high up. But that's okay. 
right, so we got some redstone. Um, the redstone will increase the mining speed. So we come over here, we add in the sledgehammer, and we add in that. Uh, and as you can see, we're adding haste onto it. So the mining speed is 3.22. If we take this off, it's 2.4. Uh, so we're definitely improving that. Uh, so let's hit slash back. We can come back down here and let's test it out. Yeah, so not too much faster, but it is actually faster. Uh, we just need to max it out. How many modifiers do we have on here? I think we only have one upgrade, if that's if I'm reading that correct. So we're using mining speed for that, which is okay. We just need this to, to kind of mine quick for us so we can see more blocks, so we can possibly find more diamonds. Um, and so, yeah, the same rule applies when it comes to, you know, like finding diamonds, like our, how I always do it to go two away. And so here, um, yeah, and so now, oh, look at that, we got some iron, which is sweet. We definitely need some iron to kind of repay the iron that we used on the hammer. We used a lot of iron. I think it's eight, 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 so 24 plus two, so like 26 iron, if not more, per hammer. So it's important that we, you know, get that iron back. But yeah, check it out. We are mining a three by three area. This is gonna make mining for materials so much easier. And as you can see, we've already got some more iron and even some osmium slate ore. So this is cool. And what are you? Resonating ore. We don't have the stuff for mine that yet. Yep, we are almost there. We got three iron. This is great because it'll help us repair the tool. All right, so I have cleared out my inventory here. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of mining. Actually, I think it might be a good idea to put this additional redstone onto the hammer here. So I'll do that with you. We'll see about what the max mining speed is real quick. Um, yeah, so mining speed of four. Will it let us put any more on? It will. Okay, so how many modifiers do we actually have? Um, upgrades like this will allow us to go beyond that right because right now what are you mining speed of four yeah so i think we can definitely continue to improve that so that's great to see um now with slash back we're down here yeah so if i find any more redstone i'll just throw it onto the the axe or the the hammer i keep calling this an axe it's not but yeah as you can see it is getting faster. It's not the fastest thing in the world. You know, I think it might be at maybe a little less than diamond speed, but we will definitely speed it up. So anyway, I'm going to go mining for a while here, really clear out some space, uh, get some materials for... Oh, diamonds! Let's freaking go! You guys saw that. Diamonds on camera. We just need a total of one more diamond because <laughs> we need five. We need three to make a pickaxe and then two for the enchantment table, and then we can get into the nether uh, and do some great stuff there. So I'm going to keep mining, hopefully get some more diamonds, and then come back once we're ready to do some other fun stuff. All right, guys, so I made a boo-boo. I forgot to unmute myself, um, and I up I made the iron broadhead, the iron broad axe, uh, which is broad axe head, uh, tough handle, pick head, and then a tool binding. Uh, yeah, we also went went through these, uh, the casts. So let's see, what's a cast I I don't have? Oh, what is? Why are there lemons? There were lemons in there. Why were there lemons in the smeltery? Who put those there? <laughs> no one else has been on the server. Only I could have done it, which is very funny. So uh, I don't have any gold. Uh, I do have some golden horse armor. Do I smelt that down to show you guys what's going on? Oh, I also found a zombie spawner over there that we might see about collecting. Yeah, so um, what had happened is we made a cast chest. We have all of these casts in here. Uh, they just require one ingot. Um, essentially, you take a, let's just say, I don't have a repair kit. Uh, you take a repair kit like this. You throw it down, the, the gold goes around it uh, and creates the cast. It does break the item we put in, so we lose the stone repair kit. Um, yeah, and then we just put it over here, and then we put the we pour the, um, the liquid metal into it, just like we would with those sand casts. 
Uh, yeah, and then I also replaced the handle of the iron sword, the iron pickaxe, and the rose gold mattock. We made the mattock, and then I also upgraded the iron sledgehammer uh, by replacing the handle with a rose gold handle, and then we added diamond onto it, giving us 37, 70 uh, durability, and yeah, we have a lot there. And then we also discovered that lapis is no longer a uh, fortune modifier so that's a little different and then we now have two stacks of obsidian so we will do that in this episode rather than the next episode because i didn't record a bit of this one i feel really bad i'm so sorry about that guys uh if it wasn't muted you guys would know what happened but until then uh yeah it's always gonna be like that okay it's so got a portal here here is our descent into the nether. Into the nether. And the reason why we're going here is because we need quartz to add sharpness onto our sword. Interesting. Sheer drop off. That's great. Okay. Ember Nylium. We're in an Ember Bog. Are there any mosquitoes? What are you? Pollen block. Pollen dust. Okay, interesting, interesting, interesting. Uh, I'm going to mark this um, here for the portal to get back. Okay, so let's do a little bit of exp. Ooh, oh, I thought that was quartz. Let's do a little bit of exploring here. Oh, that's a beehive potentially. Kind of spawned and not a great spot. Yeah, not not so great. Oh, that's like a geode thing. That's cool. Looks like we do have some kind of thing over here. Further off. Can I turn off the fog? No, not with not with this. Um Hmm. Okay. Well, there's no real easy way to get down here. Um, yeah, and I need to do some more research about how we put fortune on our tinker's tools now, because that's a little different than it used to be. I definitely want to start fortuning stuff up, but we did go into the nether. It looks kind of creepy, kind of scary, kind of cool. We'll definitely have to check it out later. But let's go ahead and head back into the overworld. I keep thinking something's shooting stuff at me. But yeah, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, guys, don't forget to subscribe. But this is Super Turtle, and I'll see you all next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.